Buddy, we're gonna build a lawnmower trailer out of the old ladder rack that come off my truck. And we got a little axle that come out from under trailer that's bent. We're gonna cut out the bent section. Say hello, Tara. Hello. And she's holding in the cross members. I'm holding the cross members for the trailer. And we're gonna use all this scrap. And we're gonna make a trailer. And so we will be back shortly. There's the sides of the trailer. And we're going to use that expanded metal right there to put a floor on the trailer. And see, you come off the truck. Alright. So we'll get back to it in just a minute. Right now we're fixing to go cut a piece. Little here, let me help you with that. You're welcome. All right. So if you want to lean it up against the corner right there. You're videotaping the wall. All right. This end is already square, so we're going to. I have a little car jack sitting over here to level it up. We want 42 inches. Alrighty. Just get some left to the see. So we're going to take that and put a little soapstone here. And we're going to measure it. Well, provided the tape measure cooperates, <laughs> we're going to measure it. Slide that over and sight down the blade till we get right on the edge of that fat line. Lock the clamp down. Alright, let's get you some safety glasses. Alright. My very own safety shield. Get your own safety shield. Let's put this on. There you go. Alright, now we're going to check and make sure the piece is square. Oh, we got another broke, uh, another broke foot. We just replaced one and now I got another one that's broke. Well. Oh, well. Go without it. Alright, contact. Contact. Four cross members 
it should be should be enough. All right, cut right there. I'm just going to grind these down and chamfer the edges, and we'll be right back. All right, bye. So, you know, some people might say it's overkill for a lawnmower trailer, but it's free. So anyway, these are our cross will be one at the back, one at the front, and two in the middle. And then there'll be a piece of strapping going over the center of everything just to kind of give the uh, expanded metal some, uh, some support. All right, so off of this one. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is we need to get some fast strips. Get some of our big welding fast strips. Alright. 